All right there, folks, and welcome back to Malmo in Sweden. Now, last time out, we got underway in our cup, uh, Svenska Kupen action, group action, that was. And we said we were going to come back for the first league game of the season against someone I can't remember the name of. Uh, it was, it was, it was Halmstadt. I'm sure, uh, yes, I'm sure it was Halmstadt. That game got moved. So I played on a little bit. I We've made the cup final because comfortable but then we got underway in the league campaign and i just got carried away a little bit and i thought why not just play a few episodes or a few episodes play a few games into the season so that we've got a bit of a starting point and a few results to discuss outside of what effectively are gimmies against lower league opposition you can see we absolutely dominated our group before progressing 3-0 and 2-0 over alsborg and uh, them into the final where we'll face uh, Solna, so AIK to come. But league campaign began at home to Ostersunds, and it was a 2-1 reverse. Absolute nonsense, and there's going to be a common theme of red cards in these early games. Uh, just a really poor poor showing. I thought we were going to get back into it, but we didn't. Borson was sent off, or rather Brawson. Then a 1-1 draw against Sundsvall, another red card this time, Safari. Uh, Strandberg gave us a lead before Hellenius capitalised on the, the extra man advantage for... Uh, Sunswell and then Harkin beat us by two goals to one uh, very early goal um, and then Paulinho I didn't even know he'd left China or Barcelona wherever he is and Carlos Strandberg having a consolation and finally we were able to get on the get some points on the board against uh, Sirius Black it turns out he play, he's actually got a football team in Sweden um, yeah who, who, who'd have thunk it so we beat them by one goal to nil they were bottom of the table and we, we did absolutely batter them in terms of chances created but Ultimately, we just weren't able to, to score any goals, but I think it was the first win that gave us a little bit of confidence. We then beat Alspor by four goals to one, and then Hammerby three goals to nil. So goals are starting to come. You can see that Jeremy F. I've decided to just call Jezza. Not Nothing to do with Mr. Clarkson, of course, but we need more power. So that's what we're going with. And today, it's going to be top of the table, Norkoping. Those results leave us a little bit off the pace, not really in a good position to challenge for the title, but... It's a long way to go. We've got 10 points. Uh, Norkoping have 18 points. This is a proverbial 16-pointer. 16 no, it's not a 16-pointer. 6-pointer. If we win, we'll be 5 points behind. If we lose, then we'll be 12 points behind Norkoping. And, and that really does start to look unassailable. So we've had a lot of red cards. Uh, fortunately, no one's actually suspended at the moment. Good performers. I mean, it's going to be a little bit skewed because we absolutely blasted teams in the cup. So Jez has 17 goals in 11 games isn't quite what it seems um if we have a look at jez you can see he's only got three in the league and 14 have come in in those five cup fixtures so we're stat padding a little bit anyway we'll get to the uh we'll get out to to the pitch to the sled bank and i'll see you pitch side in just a second so there's our team then you can see we've got a lot of cards we do pick up a lot of cards uh with our apparently aggressive play we've really got you know, we, we close to suspensions on a few. That's that's the point I'm making. Vinheim, Benaku, and Levitsky. Uh, but it's a standard team. We have got the the first choice defence back together: Safari, Nielsen, and uh, Brawson with Rosenberg, Strandberg, and Jezza up front. Norkoping obviously a difficult nut to crack. Um, Daniel Showland, you'll know him if you uh, supported Liverpool. I think he played for them for a, little, a very short time. Whether or not he actually played a game, I, I'm not sure. But it's important that we start to win games. And win games we must. And this is the kind of game that we sort of we need as I say, we just need we just need to win. We just need to win. Uh, let's shake the hands of the opposition coach and let's get started. Play, play, play. Rosenberg gets us underway. Nielsen. And uh, out left now, Bernarki Levitsky. Bashiru. Let's bring up the excitement. Jezza plays it through to Stramberg. And it's poorly done. And out for a throw in. I got a little bit carried away, but ooh, look at the fitness of the Norkoping boys. We've, we've got the edge. We've got the edge. Hopefully it means something. So a throw in then just uh, 15 or, well, just inside the quarter hour mark. Levitsky gets it back. Vinheim. I think we're starting to click. That's the point. Although that wasn't clicky. And they've got a man on the uh, looking on the shoulder. Uh, finds its way to uh, to him and hopefully we deal with this. Bernaku heads it nicely straight down to their striker. Words fail me. 
to be quite honest. Uh, corner ball put in by Shulland and cleared, but he gets it back with uh, them. Oh, Thurn, I think is his name. <laughs> not them. And we've not had the better of this first 15-minute period. Levitsky now crossed in and headed down. Not sure that was the chance. It was certainly an attempt on goal, but Mitoff Nielsen in the Nukoping goal claims it comfortably and goes long, but uh, unchallenged at the back for us. And we bring it away now. Bashiru sends Jezza into the angle and uh, Rosenberg off the crossbar and down and out. Marcus Rosenberg has struggled for goals in uh, Alsvenskan action. I, I can't even... I can't pronounce those two words again. Alsvenskan action. Yes. Uh, but hopefully he'll get start to get him. He's, he's been piling in the assists when we score goals, so I'm not overly concerned. Let's tell the boys to be creative because that's how we want to be. We, we've not been as creative as we, we'd like to be. Um, it says something about the quality, perhaps, of the of them, of Nukping and the... The poor start that we've had, really. We, we were unfortunate to lose the opening game, and it's it's that, that old adage of winning your first game is so important. It really does give you confidence. Lose it, and, and you, you, you're on the back foot from, start, from the start, and that's where we are. Vinheim loses out. Uh, I think that's poor, poor Ainson, but I don't know, really know how to pronounce that letter. The one that's sort of like a P and a D mixed together or similar. And here come Norkoping with Sholen now. Holmberg, they seem to be stretching us a little bit, and I thought that was going to be a defensive calamity, to be honest, but Darlin picks it up and throws it out left to Benaku, who gives it to Levitsky, sends it out right now, Vinheim plays it into Rosenberg, cuts it back, Benaku, can he cross? He can, and Rosenberg gets his goal, we've been talking about his lack of goals recently, and a goal there suddenly brings us back into contention at the near the top of the, top of the group. Oh, well, it's not a group, is it? I mean, it is a sort of a group, but the league table, let's let's go with what it's traditionally called. Uh, lovely ball across from Benaku. And a, a straightforward finish from Marcus Rosenberg, the man with all the experience, taps home. Corner ball now, Vinheim puts it in. Strandberg just under it, but can't get there. Bashiru, Rosenberg controls and finishes. 2-0 inside the hour. And we, uh, we're we looking better. Things are starting to come together. We've been the better team in this game. There's not been much in it, but I think we've just edged it. If there's been a better team. It's the boys in Sky Blue. Bashiru there and Rosenberg. Easy finish again. And he's starting to look more like the experienced head than I was hoping for. As You can see fitness for them is definitely going to tell. They, they, I mean, they're going to have players on, uh, well, probably, probably low 50s by the end of this. And we don't need to make a change at this point. We're going to keep the boys out there as, uh, well, Bashiru might have to come off uh, for me to give him a punch. Because that was that was suicidal play, and the score from nothing. Kaye Holmberg with the goal, and Bashir there just standing and watching instead of playing. And let's uh, well let's them straight into the game, and that really does open the door. It's a it's a good header in fairness, headed back across from where it came from. Not ideal. Bashiru, the man I now hate. Levitsky, Stramberg, Jezza left now. Benaku, can he get an angle for a cross? He's pitched this one up. Stramberg and we should have scored three clear cuts to two it's it's been a tight game as I say we've edged it and we're starting to pull away although I'd like to think that the fitness of our boys should give us more an advantage at this point than it's actually seeming to but that, that's football manager it doesn't seem to play as important a factor I mean these boys should not be able to keep up and a corner ball now headed away Benaku Stramberg hopes to get it but he can't Lobo Carson Crow Gerson, Benaku there will pick it up, and this time we might be able to do some damage. Jez is in on this left-hand side, just 10 minutes or so to go, crossed in. And it's, well, I mean, it's going to be given as a push, is it? That's absolute nonsense. I mean, he's he's not pushed anyone, has he? The goalkeeper's ran over him. Uh, we're not going to make any more changes, although I feel now that maybe we should have. As there's a few minutes left, there is going to be a chance. Hopefully it's falling our way. That's a really poor ball by Rashiru, and he has contributed to the anxiety that I'm now feeling in more ways than one. Benaku, not a great ball, but it'll do. Jezza into Levitsky. Can he cross? He can. Stramberg's offside. This linesman's got it right in for, for Stramberg, hasn't he? Um, calls offsides, fouls, and there's going to be even more, more opportunity now. And we need to be guarded. We've... Oh, dear me. Jezza, that's really poor, son. And hopefully it doesn't come back to punish us. Uh, Moba Carson running the line, but Larson's there and clears the ball. 
not uh, any meaningful clearance though but this time it is up to Rosenberg and if he can square we're in he does square Strandberg onside this time no foul makes it 3-1 we have the win three points in the bag 13 points in other places on the in the Aswenskan table and only looking up now at this stage we I still think we're going to win I think we should win this title but we've just made it a lot more a lot more challenging for ourselves with a, a really drab start and yeah, we've got work to do in the window uh, when it comes, I think. I think we will need to, to maybe sign a couple of players. We we don't have much strength in depth, and we're prone to a few errors, let me say, as you've seen from Bashiru this very eve. Oh, dear me. Um, I think we have to be pleased with that. Norkoping are no pushovers, top of the table upon arrival, so that's, that's good news. And there's confirmation. 13 points on the board. Good goal difference as well. We're certainly looking in touch, so... A couple more wins, few more wins over the next few weeks, and hopefully we should find ourselves in top position. I think we've obviously got the Svenska Cupen final, but just like the board, I'm sure you don't really, you would class it as not important. So I think what we'll do instead is we'll probably come back for, let's return for Djurgården. Um, I, I, I keep an eye out for them in, in the Swedish calendar, so we'll come back for that and uh, see where we are in May and well actually no let's do Kalmar because that's the last game before the winter break I say winter summer so let's let's do that let's do Kalmar and that'll sort of be not halfway through the season but yeah you, you get the point so we'll be back for the Kalmar game and then that'll be uh, where we do some transfer business that's sort of our January transfer window if you'd like to see that sort of our June Jan, uh, June into July transfer window so look forward to that do pop a like on there for me as well and any comments of course in terms of pronunciations that I'm doing wrong any suggestions for players that we might pick up and any academy prospects that I'm missing of course uh, if you've managed this team he looks good Eric Lindblom yeah yeah so if you've got any ideas as to players that I should be using here that could develop into absolute stars then let me know in the comments and I'll be sure to reply thanks very much for watching and I'll see you again on that very next video goodbye